This is a walkthrough video of Gulf and Bay, Unit 501, 5790 Midnight Pass Road. This is probably one of the best units in Gulf and Bay. Gulf and Bay is probably one of the best units on Siesta Key Beach. This unit is an end unit. It is over 2,000 square feet. It is a two bedroom. Excuse me. <laughs> However, it, with over 2,000 square feet, there's a lot of options. Um, you walk into this unit and you're immediately drawn right over here to this full beach view. Oh, did I mention cue the sunset? What a nice time to do this video. So we're looking straight down the beach at the public beach there. Gulf and Bay is just an extraordinary community. The pool is right there, um, one of the pools. This, this community is great. There's probably one of the best set of amenities anywhere on Siesta Key. And this unit, with being on the end, it's looking at the, it's looking right up the beach, it's looking out at the gulf, it's looking at the pool. This, on the fifth floor, is probably by far one of the best views of Siesta Key that there is. Um, I even like it more so than building E over there, which kind of looks up the other direction of the beach. Um, this, this gets a bit more of the sunset straight, straight on. So let me just give you a kind of a walkthrough of this of this unit here. And I, I know I jumped the gun and went straight for the beach, but I mean, can you blame me? Look at that. So in every direction, I just have just fabulous views, panoramic views of all of Siesta Key. It just doesn't get any better. I'm, it's kind of takes my breath away. Okay, so regarding this unit, the front door opens onto this hallway which has a there's a lot of built-ins here um actually i'm not sure this is not a built-in uh but there are a lot of built-ins throughout so you have a little foyer area and this unit was remodeled probably about 14 years ago and they did a lot of things that i'll kind of point out as we go through but the kitchen is um about 2000 this is this is a Corian tile backsplash, um, you know, white appliances, all about 14 years, you know, 15 years, 16 years ago. And so some people in these 01 units have actually converted this into a bedroom and rearranged and pushed the kitchen out that way. And there's things that you can do to create another bedroom. However, I think I've found a better way to do this but I just have to say standing at the kitchen sink at the the console commander here at the kitchen sink looking out right up the beach this is just an extraordinary view I, I'm really blown away by it okay so let me start over here um, I'll start over here in the guest bedroom so like I said there's a lot of built-ins in here really nice crown molding it's kind of a pickled maple um finish i mean it's nice cabinetry this room itself is pretty large and when i'm looking at i mean we have two queen size beds we have a massive walk-in closet we i'll show you where the water heater is and then there's a linen closet and even with these built-ins here which do do make it does make it seem a little smaller here. this is a big room that's 18 feet long and then you have this walk-in closet, which is probably another seven feet um, going that way. So this room could possibly be subdivided into two bedrooms um, by relocating the water heater, which is located in here. Also, this is a storage room and um, washer and dryer room. Kind of a small room. We have the electrical panel here, so we, we really don't want to disrupt this wall, nor do we want to disrupt the guest bathroom right here. The guest bathroom was remodeled about the same time as the uh, kitchen was, probably right around 2000. Um, has a solid surface, kind of a, you know, these are melamine type um, cabinets. And then you have this linen closet here. I was just trying to figure out how to get to that water heater because I believe the water heater is right in here. So it must be accessible right there, yes. Okay, so that 
this whole area could be reconstructed to make this a three bedroom pretty painlessly. I'm not gonna say painlessly, but, but without much effort. The air handler is located here in this little closet. It's a train. It uh, was installed in July of 2008, so it's, it's about 10 years old. Uh, it's been serviced regularly, but uh, with 10 years on it, these things do tend to wear out. So I like the configuration of the kitchen. It's doable, um, and I, it, it's nice enough that I wouldn't change it out, but someday it might want to be remodeled. I do like the um, crown molding and recessed lighting in the kitchen. That looks really nice. Uh, the ceiling, the ceiling here is um, lowered there for the duct work that all flows through here. Mirrors against this wall kind of give you a kind of in, neat view of the of the beach looking this way and so um, I'm not usually crazy about mirrors on walls but you know in this case I gotta say it's pretty fantastic it really just makes that view of water everywhere and um, the unit has carpet throughout the carpet's clean it actually seems to be in good condition but again something that probably would want to be changed out to something different there's a lot of built-in speakers um, and uh, the track lighting. And uh, the thing I want to point out, one of the upgrades that the owner has done in the last um, 10 years that he's owned it is upgraded the windows. These are hurricane glass. And so, you know, it's bomb-proof glass. And these are big, big, big slabs of windows. Um, and the way these things open up... I mean, you want to hear the ocean, it is right there. And so, you know, these things open all the way up, all the way down. We can have all these panes go down that way and this way and have one massive opening here, which is just fabulous. So, yeah, I just can't, st <laughs> I can't say enough good things about this view. It's just amazing. Okay, let's come back to the master bedroom now. The master bedroom, has, again, has a lot of built-ins. Notice the crown molding. Um, again, this uh, pickled maple type uh, colored furnishings. I mean, it, it it's nice, uh, but again, it does take up a lot of space. I like the little seats here. You can sit and look out these windows, and it's just, it's just fabulous. So the master bedroom's not huge. I mean, this is a king-size bed. Oh, uh, we got plenty of room for a dresser. Um, but the master bath is quite nice. I, I really like it. Um, the his and hers cat. There's a lot of cabinetry in here. Um, again, with the crown moldings, and um, this is a cultured marble, as is the tub. A little bit dated, but otherwise very functional. Look at the size of the shower. The shower is huge. In fact, um, you know, shower with three of your best friends. And you have the toilet here. And of course you have a telephone. You need that telephone. We have a big walk-in closet here. Again, probably seven or eight feet deep here. Um, a hers and hers closet, as I like to call it. And then out here, what these sliders um, have remained, because originally, just to kind of explain what this is, right now this is a bit of a man cave, and um, what a great room to sit out here. It is. This is not actually under air but it is all glassed in with this hurricane glass all the way around so that was a big expense so the the original these units originally had all of that all of that as a screened in porch okay and so that was all porch area and not under air the previous owner had pushed the living room out here and enclose this all in glass to make one contiguous large space, which I think is a great move. Because um, otherwise you had this awkward kind of porch area. So I totally like this layout. I think this part is just dynamite. And uh, if you need a second bedroom or a third bedroom, I think that it could be reconfigured back there with um, that area that's currently the existing bedroom. And, um, yeah, this is, this is a great unit. This, so this is um, Gulf and Bay, Unit 501. 
it is it's listed at about a million seven and um, 2,050 square feet under air including that space there and the association fees are just about uh, 2150 per quarter so it's about seven hundred and twenty dollars per month anyway I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941-366-0000 and as always thanks for watching